I always wanted to know what it felt to be an explorer or a naturalist in 1800. But I was born at the end of 1900, and by then all the things to be discovered were almost being discovered. I'm not a scientist, I'm an artist. I paint walls, I, 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 I do etchings, and um, in 1800, though, art and science uh, were starting to dance together, different from now. Among the scientific illustrators of the 19th century, John James Sotoborn stands out. Hunter, explorer, artist, naturalist, his creation was The Birds of America, a book in four volumes that depict in life size all the then known birds of North America. Audubon spent all his life um, drawing, painting, uh, um, fundraising, getting etched and printed and selling this amazing book, exploring the almost virgin territories of this country new to Western eyes. John James Audubon is not a very well-known character in Italy. I saw his work live for the first time in 2013. Outstanding. I informed myself then, I studied, I read, and I could observe, understand, that there were many similarities between me and him. So I decided to do an experiment. In the summer of 2015, I left uh, for a journey of 90 days, retracing Audubon step, plunging myself in what remains of North America's natural environments, observing the behavior of birds, shooting them with a camera, obviously, and capturing them on paper, then painting them on the walls of the city that were hosting my, my path. During this, this entire voyage, I tried to understand uh, why nature or bewitches until this point. Why do he seek her entirety? Why we seek to understand her? And how humans push themselves in the pursuit of their own quests, their own obsessions. I, I, I think at the end of this trip I was able to answer to some of these questions. Back home I started to look for museums and institutions that could uh, host the results of this long voyage. And I found one in Charleston the Halsey Institute of Contemporary Art. Audubon's masterpiece, The Birds of America, was published in 1830, etched and printed by Robert Havel in England. The 435 plates are um, in, the, in the size of the double elephant folio, a very big format, a rare one for rare books. I did only 53 mini etchings that are no bigger than than a few centimeters, and I depicted uh, part of the birds I observed in my trip, not the complete observation like Audubon did. But the technique was the same, etching an aquatint on copper, but I didn't watercolor my plates. Um, these microplates uh, were also uh, printed and bound in a mini book though, not elephant folio. Uh, fragments of the birds of America. Shadow boxes for the image hunter exhibitions are basically layers of paper glued at uh, different distances. Something like a uh, set design, uh, 
diorama. The different layers uh, enhance the perception of the image and drives the eyes of the viewer into what I could say the soul of the birds in their stories and in my stories uh, related to each one of them. I, um, I don't know, I'd say a contained spectacularization. Every bird um, represented in these 15 boxes uh, is a bird I have painted on the walls uh, um, during, during my trip in 2015. Uh, the boxes um, are based, uh, the idea of the boxes uh, is based on my observation of John James Orbon works. Um, there is the behavior of the bird to be the main character of the painting. Is the bird personality. Um, his, his feral observation meets in each plate his skills and, its, and his poetry, uh, creating a sensational illustration um, of these animals, almost as uh, the bird could fly out of the painting.